everyone, my name is Blue Gambombo and this is my Batswadi Sidebar. My favorite maternity wear right now is, <laughs> it's actually very weird because I think everyone knows I'm a very stylish person. But um, right now I'm literally all about very comfortable clothes, um, baggy clothes. I haven't really like you know explored much into maternity high fashion because I just wanted to like you know kind of relax and just be um, be comfortable, be myself, and just enjoy my pregnancy without any pressures of hurting my baby or my tummy or squeezing it. I just wanted to be very comfortable, so yeah, I guess <laughs> comfortable clothes would be my favorite um, maternity wear right now. Someone whose money goals for me, um, honestly, I have no one for simple reasons. I think pregnancy is different for each and every person, you know, so I can't be looking up to someone that I actually don't know the struggles, you know, that daily um, pregnancy struggles, that people that, you know, get very tired, some people get, you know, sick, some people pretend for pictures and <laughs> I really don't have time for that. I just want to, you know. Um, enjoy my pregnancy and just do what I'm able to do at that time because it's also very tricky sometimes you're sick sometimes you're not sick so I really have no one just myself of course huh the songs that I think my baby is jamming to right now it's definitely my piano I think my piano has literally taken over the world it's not just the south african genre or south african train right now it's literally everywhere in the world so my baby definitely knows that my piano songs because haha you know ah, it goes down in the house there's always party so yeah the do's and don'ts for my baby shower planner would Number one, definitely um, no sitting down arrangement. I absolutely hate that. I don't know what you call it. It's a picnic or whatever it is. I hate it. I just want everyone to be comfortable. I cannot imagine myself sitting like this comfortably, comfortably, and my friends or my guests are on the floor. They're not, you know, sure about how to sit, you know. So that is definitely a don't. Um, a do is definitely some luxury because I'm all about that. My top three um, things on my baby registry, number one, hmm, would be um, a silver cross prim. I'm not sure who's going to buy me this, but I really hope <laughs> that someone does. Um, even if it's God, God, if you're hearing me right now, if you're hearing me right now, please answer me. Um, and number two would be that baby formula maker, like the milk, you know, um, maker. I'm not sure what what it's called actually but i know it's got something to do with you know like the mixing of you know the milk and what i just don't think i've got time to like you know be um checking the temperature of the milk if it's good for the baby i just want to press and that's it you know so that's number two the third one would be yeah just a car seat if if it could be a car I'd, I'd love that but i think obviously it won't be in the registry for it yeah a push gift would also be good but it's not top three but yeah it's there it's there it's there it's there, it's there. i want a car ah <sighs> that's a very tricky one because i'm actually not even sure if um I'll even post my baby at all on social media for now of course things change people change their minds but for now um, I can't really say um, my baby will have a social media account I think maybe later but for now hmm. yeah. pregnancy shoot definitely a year you definitely need those you know those memories i think everybody just you know want to frame or just something cute for your baby to actually look back and say oh this was my mom when she was carrying me so it's a definitely <sighs> my god 
as you guys can see i've got this baby over here because my armpits are so dark i wish i could do with you know not having dark armpits but i'm also very uh, blessed and just glad that it's the only thing that's really affect me affects me right now other people haven't really really hard so i'm thankful but ugh, if i didn't have it i'd be slaying doing my poses ew okay never mind <laughs> I'm definitely taking advantage of being pregnant and um, everybody around me just treats me like you know I'm literally just a queen you know they treat me like a real diamond right now if I need water if I need to go anyway whatever I need I've got my man who's always around thank god my twin sister absolutely amazing you know she's been there um for me since literally the planning of the baby until today my mom my friends everyone around me is just so excited and they just the treatment is different they've always loved me but damn i must say i've experienced love now on a deeper and higher level so i'm very thankful <sighs> champagne darling champagne i miss drinking so much I miss sleeping on my tummy. There's just so many things that, you know, restrict you when you're pregnant. I mean, even now when I have a headache, I can't even have a normal painkiller. Everything, whatever, pain, sickness, panado. I mean, guys, come on. So I just miss those small things, like just, you know, the ability to like, just, you know, come back to your house, just, you know, throw yourself on your bed. No, you can't. You, 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 how can you? Like, you just can't. So, yeah. Yeah, those small things. I miss them. Some of the things I, I wish I knew before falling pregnant was the pain that comes with, you know, being pregnant, the abdominal pains, especially when you are far like I am right now. Um, I always thought that you know the pains come with you know labor it's just labor pains but you actually feel pains every now and then you just like hi boo baby like why are you why is your head the side well I'm just supposed to be like you know those small things yeah I really wish I knew those ones before I cannot say I've got any tips or um hectic advices for any you know pregnant people because like i said earlier on pregnancy is different for each and every person the only thing i can say is that listen to your body you can't go against what your body tells you because at the end of the day you are carrying a whole human being it's no longer just about you whatever you do you have to accommodate the baby but also it's not just it's not even it's really just not about you i mean there's some things that I also wish I could just, you know, open my fridge and have, just eat. But my body would not, you know, accept that. The baby would not accept that. So the only tip or advice that I can give is that just listen to your body. As the Dutch is blue, honeys. <laughs> um, guys, please check out my Baswadi cover. It's out now. Mm, actually, I can't believe I just said Baswadi cover. I'm going to be a mom. Ha <laughs>